No, I mean, Yeah. Please, no, please. All right. Reek, Reek, you want me to live stream it? Sure. Thank you, Alex. One, I'm very happy to be here. It's been almost exactly one year to this day when I first had the opportunity to get up here and speak. It was after a long tour, a worldwide tour, for our ICO pitch. And I came here right before the launch of the ICO and gave a very impassioned speech. The whole purpose essentially was, entrust us with your money and we shall do great things. That is what these ICO pitches are. And the, the woman who just spoke had an interesting slide. And she put ICO and next to it said exit. Which I'm here to tell you that's absolutely not the case. Because as we all know this last year, has been one crazy whirlwind. It's been a roller coaster that we've all been on, and what we've learned is the hype has shifted. There's not so much hype anymore. Now it's about value. People used to ask me, what ICO should I invest in? I'd say, do your research, go to all the websites, find the one with the best logo, and give them all your money. <laughs> there was so much hype, and for a period of time, it was a little, a little crazy. And what I'm happy to say is the market has shifted. And now today, it's focused on value. And that's what I'm really here to talk to you about. Value, how are these ICOs, specifically how is Blocky delivering on its promise and delivering value? After we raised, we collected $22 million in Ethereum. Ethereum went from $300 to $1,200. Our own token went up 20X after the ICO. And that was built on a lot of hype. And now, the value that we're delivering is going to really prove to the world that our product patterns can change the way the world does business. So, an interesting thing about all of these ICOs and what the hype drove, CoinDesk did a little research about uh, 450 ICOs in 2017, and about half of them truly were just a white paper and an idea, and they still raised millions of dollars. Um, less than 1% had working code in the public. I'm happy to say that we were one of them. And over this past year, what we've really focused on is delivering that value. And today what I want to talk about is NFTs. And what I love about this term is that we've been preaching about fathoms for the past three years. Which are, and now the industry has jargon for it, an NFT, a non-fungible token. But I've been out there showing the world the fathoms, preaching the fathoms, which is highly programmable, interactive NFT. It allows you to experience the blockchain in a manner currencies don't. The challenge today, though, with it's this new term, and what comes to mind is CryptoKitties, right? You think about a CryptoKitty, it's a JPEG with some metadata. You think about some in-game objects, and that blue guy, whatever that is, right? These collectibles that are out there that have kind of introduced this term to the world. And people are just getting a glimmer of the use cases that NFTs can deliver. But the way they're really going to deliver them is, by, is through the power of the Vatim. The Vatim is a highly programmable NFT, the standard for digital objects. So if you think about it, all of the characteristics on the right-hand side here are enabled by blockchain. These are NFTs. These are they're finite, they're authentic, transferable, possessable, tradable. This is what the blockchain gives us. Block V is the platform that enables developers to create highly programmable digital objects, highly programmable NFTs, ones that have experience, 3D, they're gamified, they combine, you can redeem, you can do extraordinary things with them. But most importantly, it increases the use cases for NFTs, it increases the interactivity of the blockchain, it will deliver it to the masses. Think about an artist. Right now, there's a lot of intermediaries that help that artist become successful. He has to have someone sell his tickets, promote his music, push his merchandise. Imagine a scenario where he had a technology that enabled him to activate his community, to create a tokenized economy. That's why my speech is NFTs and the tokenized economy. So now, he can provide an experience, a one-to-one -one experience for that fan, to enable that fan to share his music to promote where the artist is going to do or is going to perform. 
and it even pushes e-commerce. And these fans now can, be, can become super fans and be empowered as ambassadors. Think about a shoe company. We're in the middle of pitching a large shoe company right now, a global brand. They're introducing a new shoe. They want to create an augmented reality digital collectible, this really cool tennis shoe that sneakerheads are going to run around the world collecting. And a couple of them are going to be the golden sneaker. And if you get that, it has extra content. So now this brand can connect with its fans, give them a game, provide them entertainment value, social proof, and rewards. If you get this golden shoe, you get access to a VIP event. You get access to different things. But not only that, you can share it. You can share it with 20 friends. Now you have all this social credit, because once you share it with those friends, you all get to go to the party, right? So they've created this tokenized economy around experiences with the brand. And that brand's money is amplified every time those individuals share, and it doesn't go to third parties anymore. It goes from the brand to the consumer, the artist to the fan. What I really want to talk, and what that really does, is it creates value-based, long-term relationships around these objects from the brand to consumer. And this is what's going to deliver these new tokenized economies. And I'd really like to give you a much more real-world example that I'm very passionate about. So Block V did our ICO last year. We've had over 100 developers building on top of the platform. But not only that, there's three companies, individual companies that are funded specifically to take Batoms to market. These companies were funded with Batoms as their core part of their business model. One's called Batom Labs, and its goal is to go out to large brands and empower them with these Batoms, these NFTs, and showcase to the brand how this one-to-one -one connection is going to change the way they do business. Fiala Raven. This campaign is launched in just a few weeks. Last year, they ran a campaign for the month of November to give away a backpack a day. Fiala Raven is a large global brand, and it's the most popular backpack in the U.S. today. It's huge for teens. Last year, they gave away a backpack a day and sold it and had a couple hundred thousand entrances. This year, we went to them and said, let's amplify that. How do we make that more exciting? How do we get it to a couple million people? How do we get your brand out there and individuals to meaningfully interact with it? So, their game. This launches in two weeks, and so we say, we're not trying to get anyone to do anything different. So we start with social media, digital ads, the same emails, the same way they did it last year, except for now when you click, you don't just go to a website. You click, you log in, and this is not a downloaded app, this is just you create an account, and now you have a wallet. And in that wallet, you're getting digital objects. These are data, non-fungible tokens that are programmable. But you're used to entering something, and you enter your name, and that's it. In this instance, $25 off pops up. You click on it, you're like, what's this? Well, Fial Raven also wants to drive in-store traffic to its 28 retail locations around the US. And so it provides you a $25 discount that only can be redeemed in-store. But the thing is, if you're not near one of those stores, this coupon is yours, and it's a token that's easily tradable. So you redeem that coupon, and now it says, with me, because you want this backpack, so you're great, win me. Here's an experience. Oh, what color do you want to win? So now you're engaged with, I want blue. Unlock me. Right. All right. One more chance is when you have to share this with five friends to unlock and get your chance to win. So each of your friends now gets entered into this drawing. Five, four, three, two, one. And then after the last share, it unlocks. And there'll be an animation, a very surprising delight occurrence will happen on the phone, the bag will pop out. And three other bags pop out. You're like, well, this is amazing. What's this? Share me. So now you click on the backpack, and you've gotten one entry. Because they're having a drawing every day for a month, and now you have one entry. Do you want more entries? Yes. Share with your friends. This allows you to post a link to social media, and every time someone clicks on it, not only do they get the experience and entries, you get another entry. In addition, find coins. And this is actually what's really exciting, because for Fjall Raven, it's an outdoor brand, and they have the hashtag, nature is waiting. They want kids to get off the couch and do something interesting. And so what they've done is they put fox coins all around the country at all of the parks in the country. So like Pokemon Go, the kids will now be going out to the parks to earn more entries into this drawing. And now you have the coin wallet. So now you go to the other batteries in the wallet and then this experience in your coin wallet. You're like, so what's this? Well. This is where you come back every day and the brand gets to communicate with you further because this is where all your entries go. Every time someone clicks on that link in social media, another coin is added. Every time you pick up one from a part, another coin is added. 
So you can get up to 100 entries into this backpack. And you keep coming back into your wallet, and hopefully that appears. And you're the winner, and you get this free backpack. The reason why this is so powerful is now you have the free backpack. You can redeem it in store, you can redeem it online, or you can share it with a friend. So think about the other tokenized economies I just spoke about, the artists, the shoe company, any other organization or brands. And now Fjallraven has this micro economy with tokens around its brand where its users meaningfully interact. They now have the ability to connect one-to-one -one and reward all these users for spreading the message and sharing the love. So now you have this token, but you actually don't want the backpack. You want that artist's ticket, or you want that golden sneaker. You can now interchange these objects, so when you pull back the macro economy, is all of these brands and organizations now have all these tokens, and they have self-selected ambassadors. Because you might not really be a Fjallraven fan and want this backpack. However, you somehow got it or someone sent it to you. Instead of that being a wasted impression for that brand, these objects are out there in the world, and they will find their way to someone who's impassioned about it. That's the real shift in how business is going to be done. In the past, brands have spent so much money putting messages in front of your face. Now brands will use that money to provide objects of value that you as a fan will somehow get in your hands because you're very passionate about it. You'll buy, sell, and trade them. You'll give this up for the sneaker. You'll get that ticket. And at the end of the day, the brand's message will, will reach its intended audience. And why I'm so excited about all of this is because that is the big shift that Block B is pushing. We are the platform for developers to build these tools that will enable many, many use cases for brands, consumers, and organizations to more meaningfully connect with the end user. So next year, I really hope to come back here again. Kirk, this is Kirk's second year, and it's been amazing. And share with you not how we're going to change the world, and not how we're going to shift how people do business, but share with you how we did. Because we did our ICO a year ago, we're launching in earnest in Q4 and throughout next year, and amazing things are coming. So please check this out, the platform that's a playground, you can build your own battles, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. Woo!